Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how you can animate a sword swing effect. If you want to see more intense animations or tutorials, then subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. First we start by drawing the stick figure. For this I take a pen with a size of 30 pixels. Then I draw the first pose and the last pose. After that comes the middle pose and then the in-betweens. In this animation the stick figure pulls the sword slowly out of the scabbard and swings it fast afterwards. This means that if the stick figure is pulling out the sword, many frames close to each other have to be drawn. For the sword swing, we need only one or two frames, so that it's a fast movement in the final animation. When you're done with the stick figure, you can now draw the sword. For this, we use the ruler and first draw the handle of the sword. Then we use another color, in this example I use grey, and then draw the plate. With the eraser, you can make the sword a little sharper at the tip of it. When you're satisfied with the sword, you take the lasso, move it to the stick figure and copy and paste it into the other frames. Now comes the most important part of your sword animation, the smear effect. For this you draw an arc from the tip of the sword in the frame before to the other tip of the sword. Then you go back to the tip of the sword in the frame before and draw another arc from there to the beginning of the blade. After that you can color in the smear effect. To make the smear effect look even better, we now use the eraser. Make the size of the eraser as large as possible and also increase the second circle in the options to 100%. Then use it to erase a small part of the smear effect. The next step is to draw the sword scabbard. For this I use the ruler again. The scabbard always remains at the same position, but as soon as the sword is pulled out, the back part moves a little upwards. Thank you. 
Here I just add another in between because the sword swing was a bit too fast. Here I just copy and paste some of the last and first frames to keep the animation a bit longer. The next step is to draw the hand of the stick figure over the sword handle. This makes it look like the figure is actually holding the sword. Next, I want the stick figure to shoot something magical out of the sword. Use the color of your choice and then draw a large shape. Then use the eraser again and start erasing that the shape becomes a curve. You can then adjust the curve like shape with the lasso. The only thing you have to do now is to draw the head. Use a pen with the size of 80 pixel, then click once on your screen and now you will have the perfect round head. Then just copy and paste the head into each frame. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you still want to learn how to animate a sword fight, you can watch this video on my channel. Otherwise, see you in the next video and bye bye.